Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Most students are back home this evening after what was hopefully a very exciting day of the first school year. Today, students in Acadia, Iberia, Lafayette, and St. Mary parishes woke up early to return to school. But in Lafayette Parish, not everyone made it to class on time. The Transportation Department starting another year off with bus issues. As Chris Welty reports, the district is still sorting out bus routes. It's our top story. The Lafayette Parish School System says this year's transportation issues stems from drivers quitting without notice. If we have the advance notice, we can make the accommodations and route adjustments, and so it puts us in a, in a bit of a bind when it comes at the last minute or when it's unannounced. LPSS Chief Administrative Officer Joe Craig says the district has lost around seven to eight bus drivers, many of them quitting without notice and going to private companies where they can make more money. We appreciate the parents uh, understanding as we get drivers in place. Craig says the school system is reassigning drivers to cover routes. But in Youngsville, Heather Bork says her kid's bus driver was not aware of their new subdivision. Before school starts, you want to uh, feel like everything's done, everything's wrapped up, we're ready to go to start the school year, and it feels very unfinished and undone. Bork says she contacted the transportation department in March, July, and again two days before school started. It wasn't until the day before school that she received information about her kid's bus driver. We need that security to know who is taking our kids to and from school. Bork says the bus driver worked with her to arrange where he would pick up. We saw him coming down the road and cheered and <laughs> he pulled up and I said thank you so much for uh, being so patient. Craig says overall the first day ran smoothly. He's optimistic school transportation will continue to improve as new drivers come on board. We currently have drivers, uh, future drivers, in terms of being trained and doing some time on the road to get their certification in place. The school system is still hiring bus drivers. If you're interested in applying, we have information on our website, ktc.com. Reporting in Lafayette, Chris Walty, KTC TV3. And students at JW Falk 